how y'all doing? Okay, so today I'm coming at you with a review on a super cute bag that I came across in my continuous search for the perfect uh, Louis Vuitton leather bag, okay? And this is the Citadine uh, GM, <clears throat> excuse me, and obviously it's in the um, Imprinté or Empron, however you want to say it, I don't care. Um, and again, this is in the GM size, but I have to be honest, I'm not exactly sure if it truly is the GM or the PM because I've researched both sizes and honestly, the measurements that were provided are all over the board. I mean like, well, they're not all over the board, but I mean like they're similar, like the same measurements for the PM are the same measurements as this bag. And this bag supposedly is a GM, but quite frankly, guys, I'm not exactly sure, but I do have the measurements. Obviously I measured it myself. Um, first of all, you can see this color. It is not black. It's the uh, Infinity, which is the blue black. It's like so blue, it's black. And um, if you've been looking for, you know, an actual black bag and you've been turned off by the idea of a blue bag, this is a, is a great option just because at a first glance, you don't think that it's blue. Like it's not your normal royal blue or navy blue. Like it's so blue, it's black. It's blue black, okay? So let me tell you the measurements on this bag. Okay, so again, supposedly this is a GM size, but like I said, when I researched the PM size, the measurements are the same. So there you go. Um, okay, at the base, at the base, just that piece that you're looking at right there is 11 inches wide, okay? At the widest point, okay, the widest point here and at the top, it's 15 inches, okay? And then it is 13 inches tall, so it is going to be more of a north-south bag. What does that mean? Well, that just means it's just more, got more height than it does length, that's what that means. And then um, 6 inches deep, again, just met, now 6 inches deep just measuring this piece right here. You can see that there's plenty of room. I mean, it is a tote, so you can see that there's more room. It's not like a true six inches, I guess. Um, but I will say, as far as what is gonna sink to the bottom, it's gonna be just the six inches, okay? And then also the 11 inches wide, okay? So anyway, um, what was I gonna say? And then the handle drop, nine inches. Nine inch handle drop, I think that's the same as the Neverfull. So you can kind of get it over your shoulder. I mean, you can kind of get it over your elbow, like passing the elbow test, but you kind of have to like dork around your wrist like this. And it probably just depends on your arm, your size, whatever. I have long arms, I'm tall. And so, um, you know, there you go. Uh, so there's that. And then what else I can say? Okay, so it does have the flat handles. Okay, one thing, one thing that I like about the handles is that it has just the one stitch in the middle versus the two on either side. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, blah, blah, blah. Well, okay, it doesn't matter. You know what I'm talking about. Well, I do wanna show you though. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, but at the same time, I wanna show you. Um, like right here, this is a sack shopping bag. See how the stitch is on both sides? That's, that's all fine and good. But I do like that it just has the one, I don't know, it's just a little something, you know? And then obviously it has the gold toned hardware. It has these two uh, D-rings here and it has the nice fancy rivets. It's like jewelry quality hardware. It's rounded hardware, it's super shiny. Obviously the, um, at the beginning you saw it does have feet. I love feet. I love the way it sounds when you set it down. I love that. And um, okay, and then you also have that the same thing on the back. It does have one of those little twisty um, closures. So you just obviously twist it. <laughs> You have Louis Vuitton Paris embossed right here on this plate, and then you just twist this, and that's the only uh, opening clasp that you have, okay? Um, what else is I gonna tell you, hold on. Um, okay, and again, you can see it is the, um, the what do you call it, Empreint. See, now I'm getting confused, because everyone else, some people say Empreint, some people say Imprinté. Yeah, I say Imprinté, <laughs> Comprende? Um, anyway, and I, I don't know if originally, like it actually came with like a luggage tag. I know that you can obviously hang a luggage tag or a charm or a padlock. If it's me, I'm going to probably do a padlock. If you have seen my last two videos, one of them was the Luminous PM in the Ombre color. And the other one was the Sofia Coppola bag MM looks like a speedy in the Cobalt. Well, the cobalt was similar to this uh, infinite color. It was really, really dark blue. And like I said, I, I really did, so far, I really did like, um, I really do like the Luminous bag, Luminous PM. It's not a normal PM, okay? It's not a, a small PM. It's actually more like an MM size. I compared it to the Neverfull MM, by the way. 
Um, but anyway, I, I really liked that bag. I just wasn't sold on the ombre color. I really do like darker colors. And so, um, anyway, those two bags sold. And so, while I was looking for the Luminous PM in the Infinity color, I came across this bag. And I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get this one too. Test drive it. See if it's something. Now, right off the top, this bag compares to the Vavin GM in the monogram print. I don't know if you've seen that. I do have a review of it on my channel. Vavin, V-A-V-I-N, GM. Very similar. The only difference was the depth. Like, this is the six inch. I think the Vavin was like four and a half. <clears throat> but as far as the the length and the height of it, it's the same. And I don't, oh, actually, you know what? I don't even remember. I don't think I marked on the Vavin what the uh, handle drop was. Vavin, Vavin. Oh, I didn't. Okay. Well, in my video, I may actually reference it in the video, but I didn't write it down as far as the, uh, the handle drop. But I know it's similar. Um, and so basically... I tried the Vavin, this was several years ago, um, and what I found with that bag, which is similar to this bag, is everything has to have assigned spots. Um, it's not like your typical loosey-goosey tote. For example, I just kind of showed you quickly the sack shopping. So I really like the sack shopping, and I do have a video of this, but see how there's a dramatic difference in the base, how small it is, which I actually think this is 11 too. Um, you have a very small base, and then you have a very generous like body okay and man, I have a loose hair and that's all fine and good but except really everything still just is just limited to just down here at the bottom I mean obviously you can stack up but anyway I, I know this video is not about the uh, sack shopping I do have one on that but that is one of the things that I kind of noticed about this one um is that you know it's smaller at the bottom there's not a dramatic well four inches um well anyway okay let's go inside let me show you one cool thing about this bag that I like is that um, it actually does come with a little pouch, okay? That doesn't mean that you're going to find, you know, if you get this bag, you have to get on the pre-loved market and you're not necessarily going to get the pouch. But this one happened to come with the matching pouch, which is nice because obviously you've got your little uh, thing in here. I can take this off, uh, off of the D-ring on the inside and I can just carry this as a wristlet. So you have like a multi-purpose, um, you know, you have a bonus bag. You have a bonus bag with the with the Citadine. And then I was going to say, so normally what or what I did, not normally, what I did was I replaced, damn, get me. Here, here. What I did was I replaced um, this, um, I replaced this bag with this bag. So I, I didn't have very many things in here just because, see, it's an envelope style and I use it to save space. But because I didn't have very many things, I just transferred everything from that bag into this little thing. There's a couple of bigger items, and then I just put them in my um, accessory pochette because I had some room in there, and then I'm good to go. So I can just still use this as I was using it before. Okay, so the inside of the bag is, um, it's the nice blue, oops, it's the blue stripe. Oops, sorry, I have this, it's putting some weight on it. Okay, so it's the blue striped. You know, you have the darker blue background and the, I mean, the lighter blue background and the darker blue stripes on it. And there it is. It's just, um, you can see it's got the D-ring, which is also where the uh, hook is for the pouch. Okay. Now, let me show you the other wall. You do have, um, I'm going to actually take this off because it's kind of weighing the bag down. This little pouch. Well, first of all, look. Okay, so I took it out. And you've got the little strap here, so you can obviously make it a wristlet or whatever, grab and go. So, you know, it's nice to have the little bonus bag. I like it when the bag actually comes with the bag. Um, okay, now over here on this wall, you have the pocket back here, okay? And here's what's interesting about the pocket. It is a generous pocket, but watch. Um, so, for example, on the Luminous bag, Luminous bag, whatever, you have a pocket, and then behind the pocket, you have two slip pockets. It's kind of a strange setup. Watch the video to see. It's the last the video that I actually posted. Okay, so in this pocket, I mean this bag, so you have the pocket, and then inside the pocket, you've got the two slip pockets in the back. So, again, on the Luminous bag, the, the these two things are separate. You've got the zip pocket, and then behind that, you have this. But this is all inside, so these two slip pockets are inside. So, like I had my readers in one and I didn't actually, it's not going to clear the zipper. So I actually just kind of use everything as more of an organization. You know, I don't really need to, to close anything off. And then the other side, I have my little upcycled Kleenex pouch and that's what I was using for that, for the pockets there. And then of course my to-do notebook that I always carry around, that's just mainly in the pocket there. And of course I have my phone in there and then 
my burnt bees. And what else do I need? Oh, I did have my mask in there actually. And then also I have my little, a twee cigarette case with my business cards. And I use that because this pocket's generous. It's, it's a generous pocket. So I keep all that in there. I say, I mean, I've only, I'm still test driving the bag, but when I first put everything in it, this is what I decided on. Okay. And then, um, of course I have the little pouch that connects inside. And so all the, the only other, like, I guess, bigger items is my accessory pochette. Okay. And then my Aldridge um, wallet. Again, it's, I kind of downsized. I mean, it does have full size wallet capabilities, but it's just a little bit smaller and I really like it. I've been using that organizer forever and it does take up some room, I ain't gonna lie. And then I have my upcycle pin case. And so really that's all of the items that I carry. You can see that everything, you know, just kind of uh, lay side by side. You do still have some room. Oh, well then technically, okay, sorry. Technically this goes in there too. And this actually was on the bottom like this. So, you know, so there's that. So everything, I mean, it's kind of loosey-goosey, but kind of not. It's loosey-goosey north and south, but east and west, it's it's not really, you know. Um, and then what else is I going to show you? Okay. Oh, the other thing that I wanted to mention or show you is that I have my, um, you know, I have this bigger calendar. I use this size of calendar for a while. Obviously, I can put it like on the outside and it, you know, it's plenty big. There's plenty of room here. The, the bag is plenty big. And then I've also been carrying around this just a normal spiral. And I can just put that on the side here. And, and there you go. Now, um, can't really, I mean, like, the notebook goes right underneath here. And you can't really, use, you know, do the closure on it. So it's just open. So if it's a big deal to you to have the uh, bag secure, then you're probably not going to be able to, uh, close it. You're just oops, you're just gonna have to leave it open like this. But again, if you kind of do a wonky, you can get it up over your shoulder. Um, you can access it from your shoulder. It's no big deal to do that. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna lift this up so you can see a little bit better. I'm gonna do like a mod shot. Hold on, let's adjust this thing. Okay, don't fall, don't fall, piece of crap. Okay, there you go. So I'm five six. And this is kind of how it looks on me. I know this isn't like the best. Um, there's not a whole lot of videos on the Citadine. And the ones that were, there's not like really good mod shots, y'all. People wear me out. Some of these people wear me out with their videos. Okay, not that mine are the best. But um, anyway, I like what I like. I'll just leave it at that. So anyway, um, I'm 5'6". This is how it hangs. You can see that, like I said, 9 inches, which is the same as the Neverfull, I believe. You can access it from your shoulder. It's no big deal. If you have taller items in here, you're not going to be able to attach this without it being a pain. Now, see, obviously, if I take the notebook out, because my, my calendar's fine. So, now that I took the notebook out, I can do that, and it's fine. But I, I can tell you, for me, I'm not just, I'm not going to connect this. Like, I'm just, I'm just going to leave it out. I don't care. Um, it doesn't bother me. And, again, I, I would probably... Um, put a padlock or, or a luggage tag or something. I'm not really a bag charm person, although when it has something that's clearly for a bag charm, I don't know, I might be able to pull it off. But but yeah, um, so obviously you can do the shoulder carry, you can do crook of your arm carry, you know, like this. It's one of those bags because the handles are kind of attached directly to the bag. Whenever you set it down, you're not gonna wanna get in the habit of doing that because number one, it puts more stress on the strap and it's gonna crack all that uh, glazing there. So when you're setting it down, you want to make a point to cross your, your, um, you know, straps like that, your handles like that. Okay. That's, that's just my opinion. Okay. You do whatever the heck you want. That's what I do. Okay. I don't, I don't like for them to be hanging back like that. Cause I feel like it just puts more stress on it and stuff. But anyway. Okay. So again, this is the Citadine supposedly GM could very well be the PM. I don't know. Do your research and I guess figure it out. But this at least gives you an idea about uh, the bag overall. Again, it's very similar to the Vavin GM. If you're wanting a more cost-effective version of this, but in monogram, the Vavin GM is your girl. So again, I do have a video on that, so check it out. And um, I am definitely a fan of the color. I mean, I'm wearing a black shirt, so obviously, you know, if you're looking at the color, it does look more blue. Um, but if you're just, if it's just sitting down and you're glancing at it, like it definitely looks black at a glance and so I'm sold on it originally I was like no I gotta get black I gotta get black but dang 
trying to find the, the, the black one is really hard and they're super expensive, you know? So this is a nice happy medium for cost if you're looking for the black. And um, anyway, there you go. Okay, so don't forget in the, vi in the description of this video, you'll see all the links to my live sales. I do live sales every week. I would love for you to be a part of that. I also have my own personal groups. I have a VIP texting group. So be sure and take a minute to check all that out and subscribe and turn your notifications on. Okay, bye.